Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be going through how to build the page with Omeo for WordPress and Elementor Page Builder. So though so far we've got you set up with all of the demo content and you can study how things work, it's just a quick video that we've got here just to show you how to generally use the plugin and how to build pages much like what you see in the demo here. So a good example is the services page which looks like it could be quite complicated but thanks to the page builder it couldn't be any easier to use. I'm going to go through how to build with the page builder right now. So to begin with, we're going to want to go to new and page. And I'll give it a title. I'll call it Dan's demo page. And under the template here, we're going to choose page builder template, which gives you a blank canvas to work with. So let's go ahead and publish. I'll clear that while I'm here as well. Okay, so now that's published, let's hit edit with Elementor. And as you can see, we've got our blank canvas sat here ready and raring to go. So let's go ahead and drop in our first section. So one thing you may want to start with is a nice page title. Now you've got lovely ones provided with the plugin, but we also provide our own custom page title block here, which is quite useful and gives you that nice line below. So I can just put welcome to my page make that a nice h1 maybe bold as well now below this if we wanted to create say a full width section then what we can do is click the plus here and under the columns we'll have to maybe a 50 50 so i've got two columns here now by standard this will be within a container if we want to change this in the section settings we can go to content width and just choose full width now to give you an example like the services page where you've got an image on the left and some text on the right, very straightforward to do thanks to the plugin. We can, on the right hand side here we will add some text, so I will pop in just a bit of text here. I'll just duplicate this just so we've got something for it to wrap around. And on the left I'm going to simply pop in an empty space block we're going to actually apply a background image. So to give a background image to this column we can click on the edit section here and under style background type we can choose classic and we can either set a solid color if we wanted to or what we're going to do here is actually provide our own image. Well, I'll choose something like this one here. That's quite nice. And under the positioning here if you want to mimic exactly what we've done We've got the image positioned all in the center. We've got the attachment set as default. No repeat. And we've got the image to cover, which means it will always cover the entire div, no matter the size of the screen. And one final thing you may want to do is just to give the um, text a bit of room to breathe, like we've done in our example. So on this column here, we've got the text. We can go into its settings. And under the advanced styling, we can give it a nice padding, just like that. So if we were to update the page and take a look, you can see here we've got a perfect example of 50-50 text, as well as our title, ready to go. And it's really as simple as that. Now one thing you may want to do is reverse it. So just to really hammer it home, what we can do is create another new section below this so we'll add a 50 50 just like before we'll make it fixed width only this time we're going to clone the text and i'll pop it in the left column here and on the right column just like we did last time we're going to choose the column settings go to style background and we're going to give it a nice bold image here and again we'll specify this to be right in the center no repeat and cover now you may notice that by default that hasn't appeared and the simple reason is there's no content in there for that image to cover so just like we did here we're going to pop in a spacer block and boop, as soon as you do you'll see now there's content 
that will automatically resize compared to the one to the left. Which, to be honest, is a really fantastic little feature of the page builder. It's something a lot of people try and do is create these equalized size divs. So just to show you how this works, if this one had a lot more content, then we can fill in the content within the block and the image will stretch and fit accordingly. Really, really good. And moving on, if we wanted to add a colored section, and what we can do here is simply pop in a new section here. I'll give it some padding at the top. Say 100. And again at the bottom. And then the background. We'll choose classic and I'll give it a nice grey tinge. And within there we can pop in whatever we wish. So if we wanted to say pop in our team, we can do so here, make it a nice two column. Then we can maybe duplicate that. And where we've got the team block there, we can replace that with something like our blog feed if we wanted to, to as well. Now you will notice with some of the feeds, they won't appear straight away or like the team feed here. That's to be expected, but what you will notice is when you apply the changes and update, when you actually look at the front end, everything appears exactly as it should do. And that's it. Now if you do have any problems, do come and see me over at support. Other than that, I hope this video has been useful, and thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.